What is good everybody, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy V. And in the last episode we began the game. We got our first jobs, we did quite a lot actually in the first episode. So in this episode we're going to be going to the town of Tool, which is the next main location we go visiting the wind shrine in the last episode. So we're just going to be having a little explore around. The pirates have been on the sea for a long time. They're uh, pining for some booze. And Faris is going to go too. So yep, Faris is a dip for a little while. So let's explore. Giving a hint about the next kind of city we'll be visiting. How about I take you to the Greenhorns Club? Oh, Alright. This always made me laugh because the house is literally just down in the corner. Howdy, I assume you're new to this adventuring thing, right? We'll say yes just so they let us in. Because if they don't, they kick you out, and it's pretty funny. I should have showed that actually. Keep an eye out for secret passages, for example, if I walk through the to my left. So yes, the thief gets the fine passages ability. There's also hidden items in these, uh, these pots. We get an ether and 100 gil. So yeah, this is like a t the tutorial house. I'm not going to speak to these guys because they'll just tell me things that I already know and I'll, if I can explain myself. It's a present. It's a monster in a box. Oh, land is faster than bars. Oh, that wasn't too bad. You got a load of shoes. Which is always nice. Uh, they increased the defense and magic defense. I thought the other shoes increased like, evasion or something, but apparently not. Sometimes monsters hide in treasure chests. For now on, be careful. That's about all we can get from this place. Let us out. Yeah, look, it's literally over here. I don't, I don't really understand why. How he's going to keep that the secret. <laughs> spinny, spinny, spinny wee. I think I'm going to throw up a bit, but I like it. Oh, props to you, man. Uh, yeah, that would make sense. Let's check out the weapon shop. Come here. Come here. No! What the fuck? Okay. Come here. There we go. Barris always comes in with you to a shop. Uh, yeah, it's just a crap we already have. Don't, don't disappear. I'm literally gonna go to the armor shop next. And it's every other shop. God fucking... <laughs> Why do they make the guys walk around? I don't know. Uh, I could buy some leather caps. Don't know if I'm... Yeah, I'm not gonna bother. There's not really a uh, crying need for it right now. Oh, what? Well, that doesn't look right. <laughs> kind of seems like the wind's died down. Don't you think? Yeah. If you take the canal eastward, you'll head to the Kingdom of Waltz. Waltz has prospered by using the Water Crystal. So we've heard, alright, we can get our first magic. Um, we saw the level 1 black and white magic and we get all of it. It's pretty expensive, but... Alright, there we go. We're gonna need every spell that we just got. I'm sure there's things in these. Oh, okay. There's one. I think there's one. Yeah, there we go. There's like, quite a few hidden items in and around tool. I can't remember exactly where all of them are. I don't know you there yet. Let's check out the pub. Take a load off, drink up. Huh, if you look real close, you're a fetching last Lena. <laughs> so the pirates, uh. Yeah, they've emptied 
all the bottles. <laughs> In the pub. Alright, what's one upstairs? <laughs> I, I love these scenes. This is, this is so funny. The little fucking dance sprites. And the screen goes pink. Woo! <laughs> Oh uh, yes. What's this? Um, I'm not looking at anything. You perv, get your mind out the gutter. <laughs> the reason we actually got that answer so we could come over and have a gander at the piano here. And yeah, boss isn't the best. At, um, he's not really got that musical finesse, but his piano skills leveled up, so he's getting better. So there's gonna be pianos in and um, around the world. That we're gonna to want to go and play for a reason I'll explain later. But just play the piano. Make sure you play the piano in every town. There is a piano. Hold on, I'll go check on him. <laughs> this is probably one of my favourite scenes. <laughs> if you don't know what's going on, I won't bother explaining it. <laughs> Must have been a trick of the light or something. <laughs> Great Caesar's ghost, just gorgeous. Sure, I haven't felt like that in a spell. Ah, dear. <laughs> what are you two gawking at? Get a hold of yourselves. We annoyed Faris by uh, barging into his room. Oh uh, well. I don't believe there's anything particularly special in the end. Yeah, I know. Oh, there's a, like, we can go to the item shop. Oh, uh, I don't need to buy anything. So you can rest pretty cheap there. Oh, I will go get that barrel though. I know that has some money in it. Which that's just paid for one of the spells. We just spent 150 on. Alright. So this is where we want to go to progress the story. Pretty sure this is Zoch's house. Zoch is a very interesting name. Let's get to a wall so we need to pass through the Tawny Canal. Of course, of course, there is. It's plagued with monsters. <laughs> hmm, we've never met this guy, and we're just gonna. Sleep on it in, in his bed. Flex animation. So we're getting a bit more exposition to Bart's past. I love this this theme.
And I remember seeing the scene for the first time, and I was like, what is he doing standing by a bed? Are we going to go here, game? There's no way. <laughs> Oops, he just says here, take what? He gives us the key to the canal, which he lied about not having. All right, so we can be on our way now. Anything to loot? Oh, we will. Yeah, I, don't, I don't believe there's anything we can loot from Zop's house. I know, however, there is some hidden items up here. I can get... There we go. Jesus. There's a phoenix down. Oh my god, I can't navigate these trees. And then... On the other side... It's another leather shoes, which I'll give to Lena. Alright, let's, let's be going. Hey look, who decided to show. Sorry lads, I'm leaving you laggards behind. So yeah, the pirate crew, sadly, will not be joining us. <laughs> we have like a 15 man party, that'd be pretty cool. We can't let anyone raid our booty. <laughs> Bless him. Alright, so that didn't take too long. Oh, there's another cutscene. Never mind. I know what's wrong. Wind crystal has shattered. Yeah, we are, we are we're holding the pieces as we speak. <laughs> Yeah, that doesn't sound too fun. I don't know why Faris has this burning uh, feeling, I guess. Oh, it's, you really have no choice here, buddy. Alright, I was going to say that didn't take too long, <laughs> so I think for the remainder of this episode, 
No. I'm going to go and get the blue magic spells that are available for us at the current time. There are three that are currently available. Um, so I'm just going to briefly switch jobs to blue mage. I, I will actually use optimize here. Just to increase my chances of uh, learning the spell, because to learn the blue magic spell, you have to be hit by it. Your blue mage has to be hit by it. Alright, so this is what we want. Okay. Okay, that's the that's the skill we want, not on Lena. There we go. Alright, that's all we needed. These guys can die now. Alright, and we learned Goblin Punch. So, oh, we got a leather cap drop. Good job I didn't buy another one. Right, right. Um, so, what Goblin Punch does. Uh, where is it? No, that song's blue magic. Alright, it attacks one enemy with a Goblin Strength, so it's not very intuitive. Basically, what it does is it's a physical attack with your equipped weapon uh, that never misses, but if you are the same level as your enemy, then it will do an 8 times 8 damage multiplier. Oh, yeah. So, Boko, we left Boko here. He's gone missing. Goddamn Choco. Alright, so we are actually going to quickly go through this cave because we got to chase after Boko. It's a little like side adventure. Alright, here's the other enemy we want Steel Bar. Uh, okay, we just. That was not the first turn I was hoping for. Come on. Uh, no. For fuck's sake. <laughs> I know I should have made everyone a blue mage. Finally. Okay. Well, and then they did it twice. Good job. Okay, come on now. Give me a turn. There we go. Alright. We learned the vampire blue magic spell. And... Absorbs HP from one enemy. It's just the difference between your uh, HP and max HP. It basically absorbs that. Uh, that, is like, that is like the set amount. Okay, so while we don't technically need to adventure any further into this cave, I'm just gonna... Actually, you know, I'm gonna kill these guys with the ability points. Probably should have switched Barris's job back. Alright, I probably I just walked through the rest of the cave. I I just decided at the last minute I was gonna edit all of that out because I was getting so many encounters. Uh, but we're back in the pirate cave. This guy gives us eight potions, which is nice. So don't buy any of the tool. It's not necessary. This is the door I was on about we need to use the switch for in the first episode. So, go ahead, hit that. And this is actually a very important chest. You want to learn the next blue magic, well, the, one of the next blue magic spells. You need an ether. You have to have an ether. And I believe we get one here and then one more a little later on. Found some strange bird lying in the cave. Wonder how it tastes. Don't eat my bird. Don't you fucking dare. Poor Boko. Found him zonked out in the cave. So, hoping that Boko is going to be okay. <laughs> Just getting in bed with this guy. <laughs> I don't, uh, will you pirates do as you please? I don't think there's any, anything, any, any of these pots or barrels or boxes. Oh, yeah, Captain, I, I. Look, look. <laughs> what are you trying to say? All right. 
So I'm gonna end this episode here. In between episodes, I'm just gonna walk out the cave, get out of the way. Uh, actually, no, I'm not gonna end this episode here. I'm gonna walk out the cave off screen, and then I'll meet you back in the next place to get the final blue magic spell of, of uh, this section, and then I will end the episode. So I'll be right back. All right, finally got the encounter I need. Um, this is my third time encountering this guy, and twice before he hit Lena. As you can see, I made Bart to blue mage uh, to increase my odds of getting the spell, and twice, twice in a row, I got an encounter with just one of these guys, and he hit Lena. But finally, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Finally, actually hit one of the blue mages with it. So I actually need to kill these guys now because it's pretty dangerous. So I need to heal Paris. I accidentally messed up my turns. There we go. So, god damn, it took a while to get this encounter as well. Yeah, so I need to just go over. We learned Arrow. See, I've been here so long that Bartz has gained a job level as a blue mage. Uh, yeah, everyone, I gained a level as well. So, between here, walking out the cave and getting this encounter, I leveled up all my characters once, so they all got a level 6 just from getting random battles. Uh, everybody also got a job level, as you can see all my job levels are a lot higher. Uh, Lena learned white magic level 1, and she's actually, <laughs> you see, she's nearly, uh, fucking maths is hard. Three quarters of the way into her second job level. I'm just going to change Bart's back, actually. Yeah, Bart's managed to get a job level as the a blue mage. He also got a job level in the first job level of the knight, which he gets cover, which uh, the knight has innate. So it takes hits allies who cannot protect themselves. So if an ally is at critical health, then the knight will go and cover them. Um, I believe Cecil had it when he becomes a paladin in Final Fantasy IV. Um, it's an innate ability, so equipping it on the knight does nothing. Also, when you master the knight, it transfers over to the freelancer and the mime. So it's one of those nice innate abilities, so I doubt that I'll ever be equipping it, really. Uh, with Faris, I got a job level in the blue mage, and I didn't get a job level for month. So I switched over to blue mage, so I'm, yeah, how many five, excuse me, five away. Well, what the, oh god damn it, I can't menu. Uh, what the check ability does, it's kind of like a worse Libra. So you're basically always better off using the Libra spell rather than using check. It's just, yeah. And yeah, Galif just got check as well. Uh, now Gal now that Galif's got check, I'll probably switch him over to Black Mage for a bit. But Arrow is just, yeah, deals wind damage. It's like Thunder Fire um, Blizzard, but it's just wind elemental. So it's pretty useful actually. Uh, so I'm going to switch over to Black Mage for a bit get Galif started on uh, I might as well a quick check just for the hell of it. Actually, no, I'm going to equip a knife because when I switch over to Thief later on, I'm going to want the dagger with Faris. Okay, I'm going to finally end the episode here. That is all for this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy V. And in the next episode, we will head out to the Torna Canal. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to subscribe, and I will see you next time.